Now, my studio is a little busy this morning. I got a neighbor next door that just felled a big tree and you'll hear chainsaws going on, possibly. Traffic is everywhere. We've had three or four cars come by since I sat out here, which is sort of unusual out here at Chaco. So I'll just have to talk over it. And you're gonna have to listen real close if that chainsaw <laughs> starts up again, because it is loud. Now, now I've told you before about the wisdom and insight provided by little ones on occasion. And I just heard about one such incident the other day. I was talking to one of my neighbors out here at Chaco who teaches little people Sunday school class. And he's got a young one from about four to six years old in that class, and they keep him on his toes every Sunday, according to him. There goes that chainsaw. Well, last Sunday, he planned to talk to him about what it takes to get to heaven. And he asked him, if I sold my house and, and a car, had a big garage sale and gave all my money to the church, would that get me into heaven? And all the young uns hollered, no, sir. He said, well, if I clean the church every day for free, moved the, you know, mowed the churchyard and kept everything neat and tidy, would that get me into heaven? And all the children again hollered, no, sir. And he asked again, well, then, if I was kind to animals and gave candy to all the children and loved my children and my wife, would that get me into heaven? And they all hollered again, no, sir. Well, he was, he was pleased that they were getting an idea of what it really takes. So he asked, well, then, how can I get into heaven? And one of the little five-year-old Raymond in the middle of the class started waving his arm, waving his arm and said, I know, I know. And he said, well, how then can I get into heaven? And Raymond said, you got to be dead. <laughs> well, now, I'd have, I'd have had a hard time arguing with that. Yeah, you know, the obvious sometimes doesn't seem obvious till somebody brings it to your attention. <laughs> and I reckon that being dead is a prerequisite, all right. <laughs> now, if I can talk over that chainsaw, I'm going to do something today that I've never done in these little videos. I'm going to recommend a book to you for two reasons. First, because it's written by a longtime friend of mine, Judith Becker Andre. How long time? Well, We've been friends since we were classmates in kindergarten, circa 1942, at St. Francis of Assisi Catholic School in Brookhaven, Mississippi. Now she's written many scholarly works, but this book is special. It's a children's book, beautifully illustrated and describing the birth of Jesus in gentle, understandable verse. Your little ones are gonna love this book. Here's a picture of it, beautifully done. And it's, it's illustrated by Leanne Franson. They're gonna love it and you'll love reading it to them. It's just been published and it's in it's available in bookstores everywhere. And Judy, if you're watching this, congratulations, dear. It's well done. There it is. Beautiful. I'm Jim Ritchie. I'll see you again next time.